Okay, this is step six on how to solve the Rubik's Cube. Um, we're going to solve these top corners. So that way you can perform the last final step. Um, now what you're going to do is you're going to find two adjacent corners. So like for instance, these two. You don't worry about this one. So this one's blue and orange, go Gators. Um, they are not adjacent colors. You look at this one. This one is not adjacent because it's green and blue. These two aren't adjacent because this one's orange and this one's green. Don't worry about that one. But these two are red and red. So now this is considered as your back face. Now this is the algorithm that we are going to perform. I suggest you write it down and do the step many, many times. You know, now you might get it wrong once or twice. I mean, I've been getting it wrong. Um, I have gotten it wrong like many, many times and I have to keep watching the same video that I learned from over and over and over again. And finally, I might have gotten it. So, um, right, inverse, front, clockwise, right, counterclockwise, back, 180, right, clockwise, front, counterclockwise, right, counterclockwise, and follow the arrow because I ran out of space. Back 180 and right 180. Okay. So if we look, like I said, these two are my back ones because these are my corners, my adjacent corners. So what we're going to do, um, okay, we're going to do right counterclockwise, front clockwise. Right counterclockwise, back 180, right clockwise, front counterclockwise, right counterclock uh, counterclockwise, yeah, back 180, right 180. Now what you have, you should have, is you should have one completed side along with these two. Ooh, goody. Yay. So, I mean, this is the most confusing step. This is actually the first time I've ever solved this one. Um, please leave a comment, uh, rate, and subscribe. So, thanks for watching.